another Python tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm revisiting one of my other programs, um, the video will be linked above, um, but it's a video where we did the progress bar, it worked in a batch file but didn't work in graphical. So I've decided to, as you can tell by the title, make it into a graphical uh, progress bar. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so to begin with we have to import like Pygame and um, all the other functions we're going to be using, so time and random, uh, because we're going to be using time to do the sp splits between um, each of the updates of the progress bar, and random to do how much we update on that progress bar, and the random time that it's updating to give it that impression that it's actually loading something, although with this it's not going to be loading anything because I haven't sort of hooked up to anything or whatever. Um, but yeah, pygame.init, you have to um, initiate pygame, uh, then we want to define our colours, so we're going to go with black, Ooh. black first, um, sorry that's wrong, like that, and we're using black and green, Ooh. black and green, so we only need two of these, um, so black is three zeros, such as that. Uh, this one is RGB, so 0, 0.2550. Zero. There's 255 shades of each colour. And RGB means the green one is the middle one. Alright, so now we want to define our small font. So I'm going to go with small font. Ooh, font. Font. Gah, font. There we go. <laughs> Pi game dot. Uh, font um, dot sys font oh no need a capital for that font um, and then we need to go uh, oh I didn't put that inside comic sans and 25 so that's going to be the font type and the size um, now we're going to go display underscore width equals 2050 and display underscore height equals 500 so that's the display width and height now we're going to apply that to the uh, canvas and so it makes the screen um, and so we're going to go size equals um, display, display um, underscore width display underscore height now with that that's adding those two variables into that square bracket and using that we're going to apply it to the screen so we're going to go screen equals pi game dot display display god i can't spell today dot set underscore mode and we're going to make that set to size all right now we have to set the clock so the clock is the update time. Uh, so clock equals pi game dot time dot clock with a capital C on clock on the second one inside the function and then parentheses. And we're also going to define progress as zero. That's our function for how much the bar has complete. Um, okay. <coughs> now we're going to move down to text objects. So we're going to define text underscore object, oop, objects, um, and then we're going to, the intakes are going to be text, uh, color, and size. Uh, so now if si size is equal, equal to, uh, I mean, uh, do we really need to take in size, considering we're only going to be using small might as well do it anyway, show you guys how it works. Uh, so size equal to equal to uh, small, then we're going to go text surface equals small font dot render, render um, text true color, oh, color. And that's an American, not um, English spelling. Oh, American English, not 
uh, European Eng English, UK English. I'm not sure which one we had to had to had to define that the difference, but they have different spelling anyway. So then we're going to return text surface into um, back to the function that called it. So we're going to return text surface text surface dot get underscore rect. So that's getting the rectangle that the surface was in. And then we're going to work on move on to the loading function. So this is going to be the function that draws the words underneath the loading bar. So like loading da 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 percent. Okay. So define loading. We're going to pass into it process. Uh, progress, sorry. Progress. Okay. And then we're going to if progress is equal to oh sorry is less than 100 then it's going to print what's well, going to text dot um, small font dot render um, wait so text equals sorry text equals small font dot render Hmm. Just thinking about how this works. No, this, yeah, that should be good. I'm just not sure if I need this function going by this this way I've done it. Um, okay, no, okay, we'll, we'll just carry on. It doesn't matter. We can leave both of them in there. You can experiment if you want. So we're going to go to loading, um, and then we're going to add to the end of that string of an integer of progress this we're, now we're calling integer on the string on the original thing so that it takes away the decimal place because otherwise it comes up as like 3.5 or 5.5 or whatever and then we're turning it back into a string so it can be added to the string um, so you can't concatenate integers to strings as you should know okay and then we're going to go and add a percentage logo at the end so it's loading blah blah, blah percent all right and then we go like that with a comma and we go true and green green so that's assigned the color to it now if we take all of this this line here and we go else this is in any other case um, we can use this and instead of having progress in here we just chuck 100 so this stops it going over 100 and limits it to just 100 as is a problem that I found when I pre-programmed this. Now we're going to screen dot blit and we're going to go text dot oh sorry comma and then we're going to do the position we want to uh, blit it at. Now I've pre-programmed this and so I know where I want to put it which is going to be at 453 and 273 uh, um, and that's positioned it directly below the progress bar centered underneath it um, okay and so that does that there will do it for this episode um, obviously I'm going to split this into multiple parts due to the fact that it's a little bit more difficult to uh, explain the next two parts or the next main part um, but yeah I'll see you in the next video guys all right hello there guys um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the